Hi guys and welcome to another video from Wildlife in Bells. A channel where we reconnect with the wildlife around us. And today we're going to look at a project on the Zoo Universe website and it's called Wild Mont Blanc. There look for volunteers to look through camera pictures. So that's what we're going to do and I'll just provide you with some additional information where I can. So let's dive into the website. So here we have the website from the Wild Mont Blanc. I'll put it down in the description just so if you feel like it, just do a couple of pictures and you can help out some researchers. This researcher tells me that if we help them, they can understand the alpine species biology and also learn how climate change is impacting their population. So thank you researcher, you convinced me to join your project. Let's just start classifying. They always start with a little bit of explanation on how to do it, so we'll have a quick check and check all the animals on the picture, it's very important. We have like a nice kind of search engine to narrow the search down, so if you're not super familiar with all the species, that looks like a great tool to have. And just do your best. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go. Alright, what do we have here? There's no animal, so I should just take no animal, right? Apply and done. It's it's a bit more steps than the other project I did a couple of videos earlier. So another picture. Here we actually have. I can play the sequence. Oh, there are multiple multiple deer here. They're quite big, um, and they have this white on the back and short tail. So this actually. Uh, a red deer, no antlers, uh, so it's probably female red deer. They they tend to be in groups, so I go for a red deer. They also have can be confused with roe deer, but roe deer is much smaller than this one, so it's a red deer. I can see three together. They're moving, and I don't see any young presence. Identify. Done. There are quite a couple of steps you need to do to go to the next picture, but. Oh my god. Here we have a lot of chamois. Or we can still do like looks like something like this. Horns. We have blood options. This and they say some chamois. That's cool. Chamois, so there's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chamois. And the, the small ones are actually a bit darker. So if I zoom in. You can actually see these these three are sm are young ones. I'll go for eight individuals and three young ones. So we have oh it's just six plus. They're eating and there are young present that they don't need to know any number, so good enough. Alright, some chamois, that's cool. Alright, what do we have here? in the deep snow 5th of January can zoom in a little bit as you see like a little bit of white pack it's a much smaller face so this is more like a roe deer we'll see it looks like deer horns no it's a lot of options but it's definitely a deer species so I go for roe deer that looks like a female that's Looks similar, that's a male with the horns. Oh, and that's a young one. Alright, so it's a roe deer, a female, but I guess we don't need to know that one. It's just moving through the snow, no young ones, identify, done, neck. Alright, we have a little bird here. So we zoom a little bit in. See, what, what species do we have? Looks like. Uh, I guess this is birds. It's it's not a rock ptarmigan or a black grouse. It's actually an other bird, and I'm pretty sure it's actually a nutcracker. Can zoom in a little bit. I've seen them in Slovakia a couple of times. So just one, just moving. Um, it's nothing. Additional, I can add so identify done next. 
there's something here. I'll zoom in. It looks like this is like a white tail. It looks like it's in the snow. See the date. But if you look, there's like something jumping. And if you look here, there are two, two prints here and two here. So it's actually kind of a Y shape. And that's typically for hair. So this is actually a mountain hair. I think. I'm not sure if there's any other hairs around. But she looks like. It's not what it looks like a squirrel. It looks like hair. And it's just a mountain hair. So identify. Actually, these mountain hairs are pretty cool. Um, they live in higher elevation. And they have a bit of trouble competing with the European hair, which is more to the low more to lower elevations and it's probably one of their focused animals as well as with climate change the european hair or the, just the normal brown hair can get quite quite high up in the mountains and competing with the mountain hair all right let's click done all right it's still in the snow the shimwai is just running in the snow i'll zoom in a little bit Actually, the chamois, in, they don't have a lot of predators, but in winter, quite some of the, the chamois um, die because of the avalanches and stuff, because they, they are mostly found in these higher parts of the mountains, on the, the rocky parts. And actually, can, they can run up to like 50 kilometers an hour and jump, I think, even two meters high and over like six meters distance they're crazy ac acrobatic animals anyway let's see what's next all right i think we classified enough hope you liked it you learned something um if you learned something put that in the comments i put out some more videos here that you might like and if you like the video put a thumbs up if you have any comments or feedback or something just put it also down in the comments and then I'll see you in my next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe on this side or that side. You'll find it. Probably that side. Good luck. And